in the description down below so this is all you need and you also need your PS3 controller or your PS4 controller that'll work too and you'll also need the USB cable what comes with your PlayStation controller too okay so first is first just plug in your OTG cable into your Galaxy Tab then you're gonna connect your USB cable what comes with your PlayStation controller into the OTG cable just like this and plug this end of the cable into your PS3 controller and you might need to give it a few seconds for it to for your tablet to recognize that the controller is plugged in okay so it's not recognized yet because I'm trying to move around on the screen there and we can't see any movement happening so it's, it hasn't recognized yet Like I said, it does take a while. Okay, so it's now been recognized. As you can see, we've got a little blue box there. Can you see the blue box there? So we can use the controller to navigate around the app drawer and if we want to go into S Planner we can do that and you can <coughs> you can use it to open up your camera or videos So anyway, I'm just going to play a game real quick using the controller, so let's choose San Andreas. Okay, so let's resume game. Okay, turn up the volume a bit here. See the controller works really well. Oh, shit. Give me that what can I say? I'm a bad man.
So as you can see the controller works really well with the Samsung Galaxy Tab E. And like I said, you don't have to go into the settings. All you need is the OTG cable. You connect it to the PS3 controller and plug it in. Give it a, about a minute and it'll the tablet will recognize it and then you're just good to go. Oh, shut his up. He's got a gun! I'll kick your cuck old ass! I don't need no backup! <laughs>